Red Dead Redemption 2 Gameplay Part 11 Okay, game R picture long la. Sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we no more ain't too much harm and wasting good liquor on sweating. So, so, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he wants and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Go, Charles. Charles, sir. Charles. Hi, Charles. I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Yeah, in and get on the running of Pakura. Are they Charles? Come on, man. You disappeared on me. Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> mm. So, I you know. seem good. In the new <laughs> camp, I mean. Good bit of history, Jay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I never want to go, want to go good to work. We got some space between us and. That mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course. Just don't seem too worried. Can't believe they're still coming after us. Hey, wait for me. Hey, hey, Colon. Hey, Colon. Hey, Colon. Udara adi bagaimana perang berita lalar kok? Hmm, jenar ada. Someone got here first. Ah, hati ya. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Inspector. Check the house. Found anything? This food barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. There's some blood here. Inspect pane. Mere ko tiye rehi thi. Blood lar ka, ratak kare hi rakhe. What do you think? Hey. 
bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But nobody? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. Yep. They went down the path here. How's your track? These days. All right, I guess. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Norma scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said it. Damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special tap. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, I still ain't sure about that. Arthur, where are you going? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you Same seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Pa, put it on. 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 Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Don't knock him out. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay. For Christ's sake. Let's check. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Hmm. Don't put him That'll do it. All right. Put down the one. The Nadi or one. I do it. Jeffrey, I got a much or not. Let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around. We don't have to go to the Braithwaite place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah. Hey! You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. <laughs> you think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. What's your night here? How do you know who you are? is... You're a lot of <laughs> Come on, let's go. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. Follow me. I think there's a way around, so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you. You're though. gonna hurt somebody. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve <laughs> us. You think he'll talk? 
course you talk. He'd sell his own sister to save You're a train fare. Arthur. You nearly hit me. <laughs> oh, he don't know you. how not to talk. He don't know where we we'll hold up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. Cut that out. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. <laughs> Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted? Stop carrying on. Watch yourself. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> One way, that's foolish. Stop it. Okay. That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent, keeping fish on the line. ஒன்னும் <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, That's a lot of them. I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them out. I can handle this. அப்படியே மிஷின் ஃபெயில் ஆக போகுது
அதை பார்த்தேன் என்ன அங்க சுட்ட இங்க அப்ப நம்ம கொஞ்சம் ஜாக்கிரதையாகத்தான் இருக்க வேண்டும் Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. Let me take him and get out of here. 
You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Come on. Pa, you should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Here you gonna care. Thank you. I'm going to go to Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Yarra, man. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fell. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Okay, you're a power. Hmm, parola. This will soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. So I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunters. <sighs> Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Let's go to the castle. Let's go to the castle. Let's go to the castle. Hello again, sir. Good lord. It can't be worth it. Ah, no tiro da. I bet there's some very disappointed bounty hunters just outside. Thank you for your help. You okay, boy?
Can I help you there? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with the family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them! How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Whoa! Hey! 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 Young Jack rides better than you. Whoa. Uh -huh. Yeah. Crazy old fool. You uh. should see the Braithwaite woman. Can't you control that damn horse? <laughs> well, Sarah and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite. You haven't seen them? No, not Whoa. yet. They're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Giddy! Why don't you try going straight? Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get uh. even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Relájate. So how are we gonna play this? Place is well guarded. Uh, there ain't no point in blasting in there. Come on! Stop riding like a damn fool! No! Uh, make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Anyway, leave that. We're getting close now. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment 
with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe? Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Look, head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. <coughs> No need, no need to rush. rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. What are you doing? Hey, come on, Arthur. All right, let's hitch up here. Oh, and espacio. Get a hard seat, punt on the run. Let me do the talk. I want Kudrai. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the stuff available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Va 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 va. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy. Whoa. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier. You're gonna lead the stallions. Easy there, now. easy. Hey, easy now. Easy. <laughs> easy. You're okay. You'll be all right. Ah. Cool, I guess. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! I what the hell are you three. doing? Stop! Stop! You're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Ah! No, look out! 
Just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Mm -hmm. Well, I could have gone smoother. Good That'll good be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john arthur javier <laughs> so what are you cuban no i don't like cuban that's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to five thousand dollars for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than seven hundred on me. You want it, or you wanna ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there'll hang you. You're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Mm-hmm. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we oh, were going to be wonderfully rich. 
At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. find out. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among others. ஒரு கோடி வேலை ஏற்றிட்டேன் Hello. 
Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. A feller called Hector. He's also one of the... what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Mm -hmm. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. Water strand, he said. Okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go this way. Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that biking business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. Dear boy, all this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. Hold up! Here we are. This is the spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Wait for it. Go there it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once.
I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 no. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing for a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? It matter. It's a small benefit to build an opera. Blackwater. Just Mrs. Chester Danson. Singer? I flatter nobody. Now stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Whoa! Miss Dempsey, why did you... Who's this fella? It's a oh, trick! Shit. We're being robbed! Stop oh, these amateurs! Yeah. You ain't gonna get away with this! Nanu kannadukka kudadu edukka kudadu irukku. Pocha. Challa challa kekkala ipdi da. பணத்தை கொள்ளையடிக்க வட வந்தீங்க இது எங்க இந்த காலத ஒன்ன பக்கத்துல நிக்கா எங்க எங்க போற ஆ ஏந்திர பக்கத்தெல்லாம் உனக்கு சொன்னேன் அடிச்சுட்டு போவோமா எங்கடா அவன் ஓடியா போயிட்டானா Exactly according to plan. How did we do? Well, aside from all the shooting and getting shot at, we did fine. Here. Thank you. Well, now, go see Alden from time to time. Let's hope it goes a little smoother next time. We always hope that, Arthur. See you soon. Mm. See you soon. Bye.